He did creep jack me right here, but it's bears versus um fiends. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. That's quasi. Come on. You guys will get that joke later. So, um <clears throat> So, I listen to Cecil audios. Anyways, all right. So, Okay, right now I'm looking pretty good. I've got like almost level 6 Demon Hunter. And um, at this point, I was kind of contemplating, you know, should I attack his main? Should I just try and buy some time and protect my, my main base? Should I try and creep a little bit more? And that's the wrong decision. I should have been attacking his main base and putting some pressure on him. But unfortunately, I wasn't. That's not too smart. I, I don't know why. I mean, what am I trying to find? Healing wards or something? I mean, that'd be pretty sweet, but not necessary. And I even have um, Vampiric Aura, which is pretty tight, so I should have been doing something, because right now he's going to put pressure on me, and he's going to make me waste time instead of me making him waste time, so now you guys know, and knowing's half the battle. Gee, ya, Joe. Anyways, um, so now he's just kind of like focusing down on my tree, and I used a TP. What a waste. I mean, I'm so disappointed in myself right now. Anyways, alright, so I've got the no upgrades, he's got like armor and attack, I mean, if you're going to tower rush somebody, you should get like upgrades and attack, I think he upgraded armor first, I'm not really too sure. Oh, yeah baby. Alright, so anyways, I do have that one dryad for slow, that's pretty cool. Um, he's probably going to be making destroyers now, I mean that'd be pretty smart, or like, whatever. So... Okay, back to what I was talking about earlier. Um, what's up with that surround, dude? Why didn't I even get that? I mean, come on. Okay, so... Man, you can be a complete retard in a game, and if you pull off a pimp-ass surround, you look so... You just look like your hella ghost is, so... I don't care if you can lose a game, you still look good. If you get, like, a really good surround. Anyways. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, g give that, like, solo paladin idea, a, you know, a try. I mean, that's that's a pretty decent idea. Um, I'd do it if I was a human player. It'd be kind of fun, too, because I'd be kind of tired of using Archmage every single game. Everyone expects you to use Archmage, too. I mean, he's fairly easy to harass as a Night Elf player. You just either go Mana Burn or you just go Immolation on the Peasants and stuff. It's, I... I Generally, every game go emulation on the peasants, even if he has like a, a tower in there, because I mean that forces him to run back to his base, and it's far more annoying than running around in mana burning. Because by the time Archmage gets to level two, he's got brilliance or anyways. I mean, freaking hell, he just has to wait a little while, and he'll be able to creep just fine. So, and generally, the best human players they usually do militia creeping early game to get that quick level two to begin with. So you're not really slowing him down that much. So. Generally, most all really good human players know how to deal with the Demon Hunter harassment fairly easily. So anyways. <clears throat> Game's almost over. It's be almost over, man. Pass me the weed, man. Pass Wick at the joint, man. Alright. So anyways... Okay, so I guess I'm gonna try and take out these towers or something like that. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys what to do as Nino flares versus undead while I'm just wanking my wiener here. Anyways, um, <clears throat> this is what you do. Uh, first, you start out with an AOW Huntress build. Um, no, fuck that. You start out with a quick AOW Archer build and. As soon as you can, you go straight to your nearest expansion and you put up a, a tree. Um, and uh, what you do is you start with the archer build. And even if he does, this, this strategy kind of requires some micro, especially if they decide to ghoul, rush, harass you. Well, you should be able to stop it with the demon hunter and archers. It's it's not that not big big of a deal if you can manage your army well enough around your moon wells and whatever. So, anyways. While you're you're either uh, trying to creep, oh excuse me, you, you build. Okay, let me fucking start over. All right, shit. 
Okay, so what you do is you get the archer build and you build your expansion, your quick expansion, as quick as possible. You pump out archers inside your base while you harass with your demon hunter. So you're going to want a mana burn, which is most likely his death knight. So he's going to be w doing one of two things. One, trying to take some obscure ass path to your base to try and wisp harass you. Or he's going to try and creep with some ghouls. Or he's going to be a freaking typical retard and try and run straight for your base. And so, what you gotta do is put a wisp somewhere so you can see if he's trying to run around your demon hunter, because he probably expects you to harass. Anyways, you harass the demon hunter, mass archers in your base. After you, you, you feel you've done a successful harassment and got all the mana out of his death knight, then you go right back to your base and you creep with your archers, or you creep with your archers while you're harassing with your demon hunter. Then you take the tier 2. And by the time you're just pressing clicking to tier 2, your expansion's ready. You walk it over to your near you walk it over to the creeps, you use your demon hunter archers plus the tree to creep out the expansion, pop up the quick expansion, fill that fucker up. By the way, you will notice I did a lame ass TP. I this is another reason I'll finish that strategy in a second. This is probably one of the reasons why I lost this game, is because I TP'd in in a stupid spot, and not only that, but I didn't attack the fiends first and I attacked the abominations and um even though I got level 6 on my Demon Hunters, way too late. He totally annihilated my whole army, and that's pretty much the end of the game. Good game, Cygnus. Way to fuck it up. Anyways, back to my strategy. So anyways, you should be teching to Tier 2. At this point, you should be making Archers plus Hunts. So as soon as you're, um... You should have built, like, a um, Hunter's Hall, by the way, sometime in the middle of this process. And you should have, like, two or three Hunts, a bunch of Archers. And then what you do is you go and attack your opponent. But he should be like almost at tier 2 or on his way to maybe tier 3 something along those lines but I know it's a good time to attack at that point because you want to run into his base take out as many acolytes as possible and TP out that way um, because you you probably don't want to engage him he probably has like mass mass ghouls a, a few guards at that point or he's got fiends if he has fiends you might want to spend more time harassing instead of letting a power creep. But anyways, nonetheless, you get in there, kill Acolytes, and you TP out, buy yourself a new TP, go creep some more yourself. By the time you hit Tier 2, you put down an Ancient of Lore plus an Ancient of Wind. Out of the Ancient of Lore, you build one Dryad first, and then you, go, you start building Bears. And then out of the Ancient of Wind, you build Hippogriff. Uh, depending if, um, if he's building Fiends, just do, uh, like... Or whatever, just build bears, hippogriffs, adjust your army according to what your opponent's doing. If he's building mass hippogriff, I mean, if he's building mass gargs and less ghouls, then just go straight to uh, Drew the Talon and then keep more archers and get a few bears for roar. And um, by the time you hit tier 3, you should have master bears and you should put up a, uh, a chimera roost and you should probably try and expand again and just make, your, make sure your opponent doesn't expand. And then when you hit when you hit that point and you have your Chimera Roost, switch from bears and go straight to Chippo. All Chippo twenty four seven baby. Whoops undead like so easy. So by that time you should you should have been able to completely counter everything your opponent can possibly make. And you should be able to out expand him because there's nothing he can do to stop the expansion. Because his army is just inferior to yours. Um and with some decent micro, you can even pull off uh, that quick expansion, even if even if he knows about it, because you can just run in with archers and just take out ghouls and uh, heal up your tree. And there's not much you can do, because let's face it, ghouls suck ass. So, anyways, that's how you beat undead. It's fairly simple. Instead of trying to quick tech, you take the tech fairly uh, fairly slower, and you just play smart about it and just counter your opponent. So that's basically a rough idea on how to uh, beat the fuck out of your opponent as a uh, night elf. Um, so anyways, I just uh, lost this game. Um, and I got my demon hunter surrounded by an 80 food army or whatever. So, hung like a champ comes out with the W. Mr. Cygnus comes out with the loss. It's all good. I'm still upgrading that improved strength upgrade. Anyway, so that was a pretty good game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to watch. Um, a little something different. Um, you know, it would have been perfect even if he's going fiends. If I would have followed my own adv advice, I should have had chimeras and bears and some dryads. Bears can kill the fiends, hippogriff it on the shit out of the abominations. And, um, I mean, yeah, chimeras on the shit out of the uh, abominations and hippogriff counter any 
air units he decided to make, which would most likely be destroyers. So, <clears throat> I lost. That was pretty fun. Okay. I think I'm going to leave the game pretty soon. <clears throat> Alright, so I say good game. I assume I'll leave. Nicely played. Good game. Alright, so that was fun. There's your scores. If you want to read the totals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's basically what not to do versus undead. And, uh... All right, off to off to my favorite part of the audio commentary, the part where I get to have a bunch of fun and talk about good stuff. And basically, I've got something to share with you guys. All right, you know, upon the last time when I uh, when I retired a while ago, I had um, had a lot of PMs from people because I guess they're doing some hiring for audio staff. And they're hiring folks. And a lot of people PM'd me. Actually, not a lot, but quite a few people PM'd me. And they're asking me tips on what to do in their audio commentaries. Mr. Sickness, you know, do you have any tips or any recommendations on games or ideas on, on things to do in audio commentaries because I wanted to get hired, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't really know what to say because when it comes to doing audio commentaries, I mean, either you have it or you don't really. But, you know, you do do get better as you keep doing them and stuff. Um, basically, you just got to have your own style and you kind of go with it. But I thought it'd be a good idea, you know, in case they decide to do some hiring in the future on what not to do when you're going to apply for audio staff. Um, upon my return, I was kind of sifting through the uh, some of the old stuff of applications and stuff, and I came across this audio application as a women audio commentary as an application um, 